In today's sponsored video from Dynamic Content for Elementor, we're going to be taking a look at the new feature that's just been rolled out, and that's the front end navigator. Now, if you've used the navigator as part of Elementor, you're going to be accustomed to the way this works. And this is very, very similar. However, there are a few differences, and I want to take you through how to use it, how to implement it, and show you exactly how the front end navigator works as part of your WordPress website and Dynamic Content for Elementor. So let's take a quick look at the front end navigator, one of the newest features that's been added into dynamic content for Elementor. If we take a look at this screenshot, which is part of the dynamic content for Elementor website, you can see it shows us on the right hand side, we have that familiar looking navigator setup that you're probably used to seeing and working with inside Elementor itself. However, this works in a similar fashion, but not an identical fashion. And you may be wondering, well, why would I even want to use something like this? If you're looking for problems with your website or you want to quickly see different elements on the page, this can come in pretty handy. So let me just take you over and show you how you enable it first of all, then we'll take a look at how to use it. So with dynamic content for Elementor installed and set up, under the Elementor section in the left-hand navigation, you'll have a dynamic content entry. Come into that and we're gonna come into the globals option. Inside globals, you need to just make sure that you enable the front-end navigator Enable for visitor if you want to make it available to visitors and also the enable copy button that allows you to copy various different parts of your page and then use those inside the dashboard. Okay, so let's just save those globals. Then we're gonna come back over to our site. As long as you've got the toolbar available at the top of your screen, so you need to enable this to be able to work with the navigator option, you'll have an entry inside there called navigator. Once you hover over that, depending upon how your page is set up, the current page you're looking at, you may see things like home, site footer, header, those kinds of things, template elements, you know, sort of normal page elements, different blocks and so on. So what we need to do is click on navigator and that will bring up the navigator on the right hand side. You could, if you wanted to come in and click on home, for example, and that would immediately take you over then into the page that you were working with. So in other words, the home page in this example, straight into Elementor, straight into starting to work with it. Let's close that down, come back to the navigator and we'll say site footer. Click on that, that will then take us again back into the dashboard of WordPress, right into the relevant section, whether that's a template section, a page section, you know, all those kinds of different things. So we can immediately jump from the front end of the site straight into the dashboard and start editing the exact thing that we click on. So that's how we would work with a page or a template file. But looking at the navigator on the right hand side, you can see all of our different sections all grouped together, color coded to tell us exactly what's going on. So the page level you can see is home, a section is highlighted in blue. Then you've got each of the different individual widgets. So your column inside your column is the image, the heading, the heading, the button, and so on. And you can see when we mouse over, if I scroll back up to the top, you can see every time we mouse over something, it will highlight it directly on the page. So we can see straight away what it is we're referencing. Now, this is kind of useful. So let's just say, for example, we wanted to change this heading. We can just come over and you see we've got the little edit button on the right hand side. If I click on that, that will jump me straight over into the dashboard of Elementor, into that template or theme or post or page file, and straight into the actual widget that I've chosen to edit. So you can see I'm straight into the beautiful plant varieties, which is the heading that we chose to take a look at editing. So it's very quick, simple to jump over into the relevant part, start editing, do everything you want. So we could change that to whatever we wanted to. Then we can update it and those changes are saved. So that's the first thing that's pretty useful. The next thing we can do is we could also take a look if we're having a problem with widgets or something slowing our page down that's outside the realm of you know external files and so on. We could use this to pinpoint how long something is taking to load. So let me just quickly show you that in action. Let's just say, for example, we're gonna go up to the column section and we're gonna come into the image at the top. We can click on that. Instead of clicking on the edit button, click on the entry inside the navigator. This will open up the left-hand side and another widget that will, or another panel that will tell us exactly what we've selected, the kind of widget that it is, the ID that's associated with it, including the time and so on. So if we take a look, you can see this is a widget, it's an image widget, the ID is set in there, the type of widget, the name for example, the time it's taken for this element to load up, the element count, how many times that element is displayed on this particular page, the element count, type count, 
and the category is under the basic section, you know, as opposed to the pro and so on and so forth. Now you'll see this little eye icon. If you're working with the plugin, the dynamic visibility for Elementor, which is a free plugin that allows you to dynamically display or hide pretty much anything on your page, you can use this eye icon to simulate using that. So we can toggle it on, toggle it off. You know, it's very simple to use. And then you've got the edit button, which is effectively exactly the same as clicking on the edit icon where it pops out on the navigator on the right hand side. So if we choose an element, click on edit, you'll see that'll take us back out the dashboard, open up Elementor, open up that widget, and we can start editing things straight away directly on our page. So you can see there's our image already selected, and then we can choose choose to do whatever we want to do with that particular widget. Now I've opened up a different site to demonstrate a different technique that you can use as well. So let's open up the navigator. I'm going to click on the navigator option to open that up on the right hand side. Once that opens up, we're going to just select a column or we're going to select an area, just something I want to grab hold of. So we're going to come to this hero section and you can see we can select any element we want on there and everything is going to be highlighted for us. But we're going to grab this hero section. So this is this area at the top. You can tell it's a section over the left hand side, but you'll notice now alongside the toggle option, we also have the copy option. So we can click on that and that will now copy that and allow us to paste that in when we jump back up into the editor. So let's edit this page. So it'll come over into the dashboard of WordPress, open up Elementor. And once we've opened that up, we can then paste this in like you normally would on any other kind of design. So let's just scroll down the page somewhere and we'll get to the bottom. I'm going to right click and you can see we've got the option to paste from clipboard or paste, paste from clipboard. And there is the section that we wanted. Now, if you wonder where the background image isn't showing, it's basically because we simply have some effects on this. So if we select this, you can see the background image is there. We just need to disable the scrolling effects and the image comes back into play. It's just the way that it was set up. So it's copied all the parameters over with it, not just the placeholder, the text and the image anything that's associated with that particular section that we've copied will be transitioned over and dropped into the page that you want to edit using that simple copy and paste option. So that's the front end navigator for dynamic content for Elementor. Do you think you can see yourself using this? Is this something that's going to save you time and energy when you're working with a website and you want to work on the front end? Let me know in the comment section below because I'd love to get your feedback. As always, all of the applicable links for everything in this video are in the description below. So if you want to check those out, you can do that. My name is Paul C. This has been WP Tuts and until next time, take care.